Uh, hello students, welcome again to today's lesson. We're going to be checking inverse of what? Of uh, functions. A uh, very commonly tested uh, question in the NEG exams. So kindly remember to subscribe, share uh, to your friends and colleagues who are near visiting the NEG exams for the sake of uh, revision, uh, revision purposes. Now let's jump right in in our question. So we have the July series. Uh, uh, we have given a function uh, fx as a quotient function, then you're told to determine uh, the inverse. So anytime you see uh, f, a function with a bar, that is a, the bar we have a negative one. We have a, let's call it a negative of one. Uh, is, this illustrates the inverse of a function. Now, solution. This is a very simple question because when you're getting inverses, uh, we have just a very few steps to, to work out. So we can change this, first of all, our functional notation and we write it in terms of y. So uh, let just let our fx be written in terms of y. So we shall have y equals to 3x plus 5 all over 5x plus what? Plus 7. Now in inverse functions, this one just involves transposing this. So by the end of the day, we want to make x the subject of the formula, that is what it entails. So now for us to make x the subject of the formula, so we can start by multiplying 5x plus 7 on this side. So we shall have y multiplied by 5x plus 7 equals to 3x plus, plus 5. Opening the bracket, we shall have 5xy plus 7y equals to 3x plus 1 plus, plus 5. Then you can take the terms that have x on one side and uh, the other one on the other side. So you can take 3x to this side. So we have 5xy. This one comes to this side in terms of x. Negative of 3x. Then we have 5. This one goes to the other side becomes a negative of 7. Why? We remove x outside because it is common in both terms. So inside here we remain with 5y minus, minus 3 equals to 5 minus 7. Why? Now remember, we want to remain with x on this side. So we divide all through by what? 5y minus 3. So dividing all through by 5y minus 3, we just do it here. 5y minus 3 divided by 5y minus 3. So this term and this term goes. So therefore, we shall have, we shall have uh, x given by 5 minus 7y, then all over 5y, then minus 3. So you have transposed the function and now we have this. Now the, the last step, the second step is just to uh, for you to find out the inverse of the function here, therefore, it is now to interchange where you have an x you put a y, where you have a y you put an x. So therefore, our f prime of x or our y inverse will just be given by 5 minus 7x all over. 5x then minus 3. And that is your inverse. Uh, so sorry, this is not a prime, it's negative 1. So we have negative 1. Then the second step is just simple. So when you have already found the function where you have the value f of x being 2, replace uh, x being 2. Now, so for us to get f uh, the inverse when your value of x is 2. 2, so just replace your value of x being 2 here, so we shall have 5 minus 7, then we have 2, uh, then we have 5, then we have 2 here, then we have minus, minus 3, then 5 minus 14, because this, uh, this will give you 14, so 5 minus 14 will give you definitely a negative, so a negative of what? Negative of 9, then all over, uh, this, uh, this gives you 10, 10 minus 3 gives you Seven. So your value will be negative of 1 and you remain with what? 2 over 7. So that is your answer. So in question number 2, we can check the max series. So you are given that function and to determine the inverse of uh, the function. Then we have find the inverse when your value of x is what? When your value of x is 30. So again, you can let, let, our fx, we write it in terms of what? In terms of y. So we shall have y equals to 5x minus uh, over x minus 5. 
So again, we are saying we make x the subject of the formula. So this one can multiply here. So we have uh, y into uh, 5 x minus 5 equals to equals to 5 equals to 5 x. Then expand this. We have y x minus 5 y equals to 5 x. Take 5 x to this side and take uh, negative 5 y to the other side. So you have y x uh, minus 5 x equals to 5 5 y. Then uh, factor out x. Remain with y minus 5 equals to 5 y. Then divide all through by y minus 5. So y minus 5 and all about y minus 5. So that and that cancels. Remain with x being equals to 5y all over y minus y minus 5. So therefore the inverse of this function fx. So f prime x, uh, not prime sorry, the inverse of uh, the function of x. We are saying where you have your y, you are replacing what with x. So therefore we should have 5x all over x minus 5. So that is basically the inverse of this function. Then after that, the second part is to replace your value of x being 30. So we're finding f inverse, then your value is 30 there. So that means whenever you have a, any place you have an x with 30, so you have 3, then, sorry, not 3, uh, it's 5. So we have, uh, we have 5, then replace it with 30. And you have x minus 5, so it's 30 minus 5, it's 30 minus 5, which will give you, so 5 times 30, that is 150. And then divide by what? 30 minus 5 gives you 20, 25. And uh, 25 goes into 150, how many times? That would be 6 times. So therefore, your value of uh, inverse from x is 30 given by what? 